April 15th, 2013. This was the first of two homemade bombs packed with nails and ball bearings that exploded near the finish line of the Boston Marathon. The deadly attacks traumatized the city and outraged the nation. The suspect was a 19-year-old student at the time, Jakar Tsarnaev, an American citizen of Chechen origin. His trial is expected to be long and emotional. Prosecutors have images of Jakar and his brother Tamerlan at the scene, part of a large body of evidence they believe gives them a strong case. Tamerlan is said to have turned to radical Islam, motivated by anger over what he saw as U.S. military action against Muslims overseas. He was killed in a shootout with police during an extended manhunt. Jakar was found hiding in a boat dry docked in a suburban neighborhood and captured after police moved in with full force. His arrest was a huge relief to locals. His lawyers argued that he couldn't get a fair trial here and tried to get the venue moved without success. The stakes are high because it's a capital punishment case. I don't believe in the death penalty personally, um, but I don't think he should uh, see the light of day again. I hope for a fair outcome um, and uh, I think those people in the city really need that. Defense lawyers are expected to argue that their client was manipulated by his older brother. Lawyers on both sides will spend the next three weeks carefully selecting a jury from an unusually large pool of 1,200 candidates for a trial that could last five months. The jurors will have to decide not only whether Jakar Tsarnaev is guilty, but if so, whether he should live or die. Barbara Plett-Usher, BBC News, Washington.